So in this video, I'm going to discuss sampling to be more specific non-probability sampling and this is the second part of our discussion in sampling technique. Non-probability sampling. Here, we do not require randomly random selection. Okay, that's the first one. Second, uh, the samples may or may not represent the population and oftentimes it is difficult for us to know whether the population is represented or not represented there are two types of non-probability sampling the first one is the accidental haphazard or convenience sampling so in this i'm not going to read that paragraph no uh, in this, we have the researcher will choose a sample based on his convenience. Okay, the sample is chosen based on his decision or discretion. Okay, it may be someone who you just met when you are walking like uh, or for, for example a student go to a place or a room and then ask someone who is available to be their sample okay so this is the most common method of sampling according to this that have been used because it is convenient or it is more or it is easier to do. The second type of sampling is called the purposive sampling. Uh, from the word itself, purposive meaning you are going to choose your sample based on your purpose. Okay, by the way, there are uh, more classification of sampling that we are going to discuss that I'm going to discuss on the later part of our video okay so in this sampling technique samples are taken with a purpose in mind according to what I've said earlier usually one or more specific predefined so okay now let us have the uh, class or the classifications or the different kinds of purposive sampling the first kind of purposive sampling is the modal instance sampling sampling for specific groups or types of people were in sampling the most frequent case or the typical case is sought for this method of sampling is commonly used in informal public opinion polls okay let us just say for example uh, I am conducting a survey and in a school and uh, the most number of students or the Humes has the most number of students. So since they are the most frequent case, therefore uh, I will obtain my sample from the Hume's strand student or the Hume's students. The second one is expert sampling. So, in other words, your sample here are experts. Okay, so you are going to look for the experts on the field that you are uh, researching and you know, they will be your sample. Quota sampling, respondents are selected non-randomly according to some fixed quota, meaning if you are able to reach your desired number of sample, then you are done with your sampling process. Heterogeneity sampling is similar or almost similar to stratified sampling, yet in heterogeneity 
or however, heterogeneity sampling does not uh, is not particular in proportion. Okay, so let us say there are some groups, there are five groups, and we all know that uh, the samples or the population from each group is not equal. Okay, our samples does not necessarily or is not in heterogeneity sampling the samples that we are going to take from each group does not necessarily have to be equal and proportional so according to this view proportionality is not major it's not of major importance Snowball sampling, also known as refer referral sampling, in this kind of sampling, let us just say you, your respondent is uh, those who suffered in COVID-19. Since you only know a person, now you are going to ask that person if he knows someone who also suffered from COVID-19. And then, after that, you all you are also to ask those respondents that have been referred by your first respondent. And then, you are going to repeat the process of asking those have been referred until you obtain the desired uh, number of sample that you need. These exercise or this exercise will be discussed in our synchronous meeting, perhaps if we have a synchronous meeting. An engineer selects every 50th cell phone from the assembly line for careful testing and analysis. By the way, uh, from all the sampling technique that we have discussed from the first part and up to the second part, those are the choices and we have to determine if what kind of sampling technique does it uh, refer a reporter writes the name of each senator in a separate card shuffles the card and then throw five names the dean at CAVSU CBE surveys all students from each of the 12 randomly selected classes a reporter obtains Sample data from readers who decide to mail in a questionnaire printed in the latest issue. A mathematics professor selects 18 men and 18 women from each of the four classes. Conducting research for psychology course, a student of CABSU CBE interviews students who are leaving the CBE building. A reporter obtains number numbered listing of the 1,000 companies with the highest stock market values uses a computer to generate 20 randomly random numbers between 1 to 1,000 and then interviews the chief executive officers of the companies corresponding to these numbers. A medical student at TLSUMC interviews all diabetic patients in each of 15 randomly selected hospitals in the country. A researcher interviews every 45th patients in the list of inpatients. A student interviews school principals and school teachers about the implementation of the 2002 basic education curriculum. And that will be all for this video.